Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel Philosmos where everything philosophical is discussed. Now today's lesson title, the lesson topic is self-discipline is self-love. Now this topic is actually influenced and inspired by Will Smith. I'm sure some of you have come across this material but Will Smith just spoke about the importance of loving yourself and within loving yourself you have to cultivate disciplined actions. So I just want to elaborate more extensively on what I interpreted from what Will Smith said about self-discipline being self-love. So discipline is probably the most avoided quality, essential quality, essential virtue within the human experience. There is validity behind this avoidance, behind this reluctance to engage in this virtue that we all need to have in order to get things done and to attain our highest ideals. So there's validity as to why we are so apprehensive in engaging in discipline because discipline entails death. Discipline entails sacrifice. So let me elaborate on that. So Will Smith basically put it in this way that discipline is foregoing immediate pleasure for long-term self-respect. And essentially, discipline removes you from your momentary sensations that seem to compel you to take actions that are not in your own best interest and especially looking at it from the context of time so when you're engaging in an actions right now when you're engaging in an action right now at present time and you imagine yourself doing this action continuously uh, in accumulation of five years then if that action does not produce fruit that is beneficial to your future self, then that action needs to be negated. That action needs to be avoided with a new and replaced with a new action, a new behavior that demonstrates self-love, that demonstrates the love that you have for yourself. But you can never do that if you're continuously and chronically upholding the standard that you currently have, which will not be beneficial for you as time goes on and as time moves forward. Now, the death comes in when you have to replace the old self, the old beliefs, the old inclinations, and replace it with new patterns of behaviors that can then propel you to higher states of consciousness. So you are guaranteed to die. The you in this present moment will die and you are sacrificing this self, this momentary experience of yourself for a higher version but the mind your old self will not permit you to do that easily the old self will not die gracefully the old self will attempt at every single moment that it can to bring you back to where it desires you to be so that it can uphold that standard so we're continuously being fed not only by our internal self but by the people that occupy our experience and our society at large because we're not really taught to love ourselves in fact we're taught to consume we're taught to engage in momentary sensations of trying to seek pleasure, trying to seek momentary satisfaction, 
I mean, it's not so difficult to see that when you watch TV, all the advertisements that they display to your consciousness is always hidden with a message or overtly showing the message that you need to consume this new product or you need to get this new product in order to be that highest ideal. That's why they always have models there so that you can aspire to be like that. But we don't have the right mechanism that is driving us when we're looking at society, when we're looking at the occupants within our experience to develop self-love. So long as we're fixating our attention on the external to verify our love for ourselves, then we're always looking at it from the incorrect position. The appropriate and correct position to adopt is to first look within. And going within means being convicted with the choices that you make, being decisive and being focused on the internal image that best represents your highest ideal about yourself. But you cannot do that if your eyes are continuously looking to the world to validate you. Look within yourself. And when you look within yourself, it is not something that you're going to do once and then you've magically got self-love. This is a minute-by-minute, hour-by-hour, day-to-day process in which you move along existence, going through the challenges, but staying focused on what it is that you truly desire for yourself. And then once you have that inner conviction as to what it is that you desire, then no obstacle no person, no belief, no sensation will be able to stop you or prevent you from taking the actions that you need to take at this particular moment. And that is love. Being patient with yourself when you fail in that process, that is love. Being kind with yourself, rewarding yourself when you get the job done, that is love. To sacrifice your old self, your old beliefs, your old perspectives for the new and your highest ideal and your highest version of yourself. To sacrifice the old self for that, that is love. That is authentic self-love. But one can only reach that place when you go within and discipline is uh, in fact the most crucial virtue to have in order to develop love for yourself because it's the willingness to go through the motions and even when you don't feel like it even when you don't feel like giving yourself love even when you feel like you're not deserving of that love you do it anyway despite how you feel and once you get to that level then you realize that love is a part of your state of being and the only thing that disguised that was how you chose to pay attention to the world and not pay attention to yourself because once attention is focused on the self The world no longer matters. The world just becomes something trivial. Obstacles become illusions. Obstacles, in fact, get seen in a different light as an opportunity to transmute the old self and become the new. So it's about refining your eyes to see this potential that you have. And not only seeing it, but executing the necessary actions to solidify the self in reality. And this can be done once you cultivate self-love. And cultivating self-love 
you must be disciplined. So thank you very much guys for listening to this. Please like if you like this video. Please share if you found the content valuable. Please comment if you have something to say. And to end it off as I always end it off. For those who seek, seek no more. For in the present we find it all.